When I was a kid, they would fly overhead, doing things that weren't possible, that's what folks said. Deflecting bullets, punching out trains, lifting stuff using just the power of their brains. Every time that I'd see them, I wanted to be them. And I dream each night about all the things I do. What if I were a superhero with a cape and a mask? Give me some kind of powers and give me a task. Give me one little chance and that's all that I'd ask. And I promise I'd stand tall. I'd be the greatest superhero of them all. I swore that I'd be one if they let me choose. If I didn't have powers, I'd strengthen my mind. I'd look within myself and see what I'd find. Every time that I'd see them, I wanted to be them. And I trained each night for all the things I do. What if I were a superhero? I'll give villains a fright. With my cane and my gadgets and my signal light. I'll fight for what's right And, and I'll, I'll never let you, you down. down I'd be the greatest superhero in this town Some people say we're psychotic Breaking laws that we claim to uphold But really the costume's symbolic And all that we're breaking's the mold The bad guys like gaming the system with legal details they dance Our first job is justice We don't ask that you trust us Just give us that one little chance When I was a kid I would see people try Just to work till they drop And not stop till they die And I promised I'd make the world better someday I swore I'd restore the American way Every time that I'd see them I promised I'd free them and I think of them with everything I do. Oh, I, I am hey, a hey. superhero, every one of us saw. There's so much more to do than upholding the law. Give yourself just one chance and you'll leave us in awe. Cause we know that you'll stand tall. Inside every one of us is the greatest superhero of them all. Hereby called to order, or as close as we can get. The first, last, and only item on today's agenda is how come we haven't killed the bloody superheroes yet? Well, it isn't very easy, given that they're superheroes. They're invulnerable. Or armor. Or they're awful bloody fast. Or they're awful bloody smart. Or they're awful bloody lucky. How about awful bloody dead? Is that so very much to ask? Well, we don't work together very well. We don't call each other on the phone. Inspiration takes hold, and if the truth be told, we each want to get the glory on our own. I've been working on a death trap that'll shred them in their skivvies. I've built a giant laser that'll fry them where they stand. I'll construct a transmutation gun to turn them into privies. I've got a hundred foot clawed hero smashing robot hand. I've got a mind control device so strongly chainy curtsy. I've got a giant vacuum that will suck away their breath. I've got some earthquake pills that I can hide inside some bird seed. I've got some exposition that will bore them all to death. We've got awful bloody plans for an awful bloody conquest And awful bloody visions of an awful bloody fate On so much we are divided, but in this we are united It's those awful bloody heroes that we hate 
But how come we haven't bloody killed them yet? Just wait. And who are you, sir? How did you get into our secret lair? Oh, I've been a member in good standing for 17 years now. I don't recall seeing you here before. Naturally not. I've made a point of keeping low to the ground until it suited me otherwise. Uh, which it does now. I'm Sir Wilfred P. Huffle Baggins III. Who's that? Not a clue. Huffle what? There's a reason that of me you never have heard. I'm subtle, whereas you are not. What? Oh, I'll wait just a moment, you fat ball of crime. Everyone here works hidden unseen. Advancing the causes of science and crime. Advancing your egos, you mean. You're much too bombastic, you cackle, you gloat. To show off, you'll go any length. And you're caught by inferiors, grabbed by the throat. Whereas I, I have built up my strength. This is preposterous. Did you not hear of my army of mutant wombats with opposable thumbs? I seem to replace every banana in the tropics with plantain. Or my ultrasonic carrier wave that could disintegrate the world's underground. Oh, uh, yes. How did the press refer to you, Captain Commando? You simply don't get it. You... It was six minutes. And I think I had, um... OSD max of, uh, I think it was 16 amps total, uh, max, max draw. I tried to keep it around 10, 11 for the majority of the flight. And, um, that was 11, 11 amps is just, just about enough to just keep it airborne. So that's probably about the best it's going to do. Now this is only a 1300 milliamp pack. So imagine if I put a 1800 or 2200 amp hour pack on there probably double that again so yeah they're pretty pretty efficient uh, I really like them so far I'm also wondering if I put uh, like maybe a 5s bump it up one cell go to a 5s they might be the the max efficiency at that power level so I'll just have to spare experiment with them and see what happens I can't wait to get it up out in the mountains or somewhere where I can just fly the thing. I also need to work on this antenna. Um, yeah, I think there's moments with it being mounted so low on the air on the uh, quad that the uh, the signal gets blocked depending on my orientation. And then I have with it mounted horizontally like that, it's not optimal. I've got uh, null zones on both sides of the quad so ultimately it needs to be mounted vertically so I've got a few ideas about coming up with an antenna so I can mount a vertical antenna and hopefully uh, resolve some of those issues with a low RSSI or low signal strength depending on the orientation I really uh, pretty leery about taking it out any significant distance or over terrain that be almost impossible to recover it if it goes down because you know I, I get a low signal almost every flight with it mounted the way that it is if I'm going directly away or coming directly toward me and I'm not too high in elevation it seems to do okay but if I get up there a little higher as I'm coming back toward me the frame and the front arms and so forth get in the way of that antenna signal so it's just definitely not an ideal location anyway I'll uh, I'll come up with an idea and make a video about it and, and show you the results of that here the in the next future I may go home today and start working on on designing a vertical dipole antenna mount or maybe a way to mount the uh, the immortal T that I have on here in a vertical position Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it.